Okay, so let's talk about preschool. We've all heard it, right? That it gives kids this incredible head start in life. But what if I told you that for most kids, that head start, well, it just kind of vanishes. Today, we are diving into a really surprising study that might have finally found the exception to that frustrating rule. I mean, this is the multi-billion dollar question, isn't it? We pour so much time, so much money, so much hope into early education. But do those benefits actually stick around for the long haul? For a long time, the answer from all the research has been, well, honestly, pretty disappointing. There's this phenomenon that researchers call preschool fade out, and it's exactly what it sounds like. Kids get this great academic boost at first, they seem a way ahead of the curve, and then poof. By the time they finish kindergarten, it's just gone. Their scores look exactly like the scores of kids who never went to preschool at all. And you can imagine, this fade out thing is just incredibly frustrating for everyone involved. Educators, parents, policymakers, it's this huge problem they've been trying to crack for decades. And get this, it's not always just a simple fade out. Some massive studies found something even more shocking. By the time kids hit third or even sixth grade, the ones who went to public pre-K were actually doing worse than the kids who stayed home. So yeah, you could see why the search for a better way is so, so important. And that search has led researchers to take a really close look at a method that's, and you're not going to believe this, been around for over 100 years, Montessori. Now, a Montessori classroom is probably not what you're picturing. There's no teacher at the front of the room lecturing. Instead, you've got this mix of three, four, and five-year-olds all learning together. They get to choose what they work on using these really cool hands-on materials, and everyone moves at their own speed. And the best part? The older kids naturally start teaching the younger ones. It's amazing to watch. Okay, so it sounds great in theory, but here's the real question. Does this totally different approach actually work in a regular, everyday public school? Well, a major new study decided to find out once and for all. And they didn't mess around. They used the most rigorous method you can possibly use, what's known as the gold standard in science, a randomized controlled trial. They did something really clever. They used the random lotteries that public schools use for admissions. This created a perfect natural experiment, which means you're not just comparing kids whose parents are extra motivated. No, you're getting a true apples-to-apples -apples comparison. And this was no small-scale thing. The study was huge. Researchers tracked nearly 600 children across 24 different public Montessori schools all over the country. And they followed these kids for three straight years, from their very first day of pre-K all the way to the end of kindergarten. So, after all that, what did they find? Well, let's just say the results were not at all what most experts would have ever predicted. At first, it looked like the same old story. After the first year, not much of a difference. After the second year, still nothing significant. You're probably thinking, okay, here we go again. Another study showing fade out. But that is not where this story ends. Because then, they looked at the data from the third year. And bam! It was a completely different picture. Suddenly, the Montessori kids weren't just a little ahead, they were pulling way ahead. And this wasn't just a small bump in one area. No, we're talking about big gains across the board, in reading for sure, but also in super important skills like memory, focus, and even social skills. Let me put this into perspective for you. An average kid, you know, right in the middle of the pack at the 50th percentile would jump all the way up to the 71st percentile in reading just from being in this program. That is a massive leap in what is maybe the most important skill for all their future learning. So these academic results were already mind-blowing, but the study found another twist, and this one could have huge implications for school districts everywhere. Now, your first thought is probably the same as mine. A specialized program with all these unique materials and extra teacher training, that's got to cost more, right? It just has to. Well, nope, that's not what they found. Take a look at this number. Over $13,000. That's not the cost. That's the estimated savings for the school system per child over just three years. Incredible. So you're asking, how is that even possible? It's actually pretty simple, and it's built right into the model. Because the kids learn so much from the materials and from each other, you can actually have larger classes for the three and four-year-olds. And what's the single biggest expense for any school? Teacher salaries. It's a system that brilliantly reduces its own biggest cost. Okay, so this brings us to the big mystery. Why? Why this incredible surge, but only in that third and final year? The researchers have a leading theory, and it's pretty fascinating. They call it the third year effect. 
In that third year, the five-year-olds become the leaders, the big kids of the classroom. They step up and start teaching their younger classmates. And what's the best way to really truly master something? To teach it to someone else. It just cements that learning in your own brain like nothing else can. So this whole study leaves us with a really powerful question, doesn't it? In this massive multi-billion dollar search for a preschool model that actually delivers results that last, could it be that one of the best answers has been hiding in plain sight for over 100 years? If this has got you curious and you want to dig a little deeper, here are a couple of fantastic resources. The National Center for Montessori and the Public Interest is a great place to start for parents and policymakers. And if you're interested in the science behind it, you can check out and even support the ongoing research at the Montessori Science Center at the University of Virginia.